welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today, um, we're going to be doing a bit of a different video and I've literally been planning to do this for the longest time and I've had all this stuff in a bag somewhere. Um, and so today I was just like, let me just film this, okay? So then I can put all this in a bin or I don't even think I'm going to give them away. But as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a full face of products that either I now hate or that have gone off and, you know, it just does not work. Um, some products in here I did really like but they just gone off so and I'm putting it on my face <laughs> just realized that don't do this at home before I jump onto the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out today and today's one goes to Tanya Shahid so thank you so much for your comment oh my god 6 a.m. early shifts girl how do you do it that's the time I wake up. So what time do you wake up? <laughs> Anyways, let's jump straight onto the video. By the way, this video is not in any way to bash brands and their products. I mean, some of these are just really bad and did not work for me, but that doesn't mean I didn't like other products from them, you know? Um, and I'm allowed to not like some products. It's not a big deal. I mean, if brands get offended by this, then that's their problem, okay? I'm a consumer. The first thing I guess we're gonna do is brows. Oh, this is just an embarrassment. I think I've, I was using this. I just burped there, sorry. <laughs> um, I was using this when I first started out my channel and I still have it. This is the, this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Shaper in, in, I don't even know what color. What an embarrassment, what is this? What is this guys? What is this? Oh. When was the last time I used it's I think it's dry. When was the last time I used a pencil for my brows? To be honest, this is probably not a bad product for some, but I hate using a regular pencil for my brows. And the, the spoolie, this is some cheap ass spoolie. And the colour is too warm. Like it looks like a reddish brown. Like with these I can't get like a nice blend. Like it has to be harsh. I guess I'm going to leave it like that. Right, so the next thing I'm going to use is the EX1 Delete concealer this was i don't know if i don't even know if they still sell this this is in d 300 now i used to wear this quite a bit but it's super oily and i think that's why i stopped using it but now it's like really dry because i've had this for the longest time but their delete a uh, fluid concealer is so good but this one's just a pass for me it's not like I used to put this on my eyes and the creasing was insane. I just didn't know back then, you know. A lot of these products I used when I first started my channel and I don't know why the hell I still have it. And um, you only just looked at my eyebrows if they were just crazy, you know. Oh my god, the next thing is this disgusting brow gel. This is the Brow This Way Brow Mascara from Rimmel. I used to use this in every single of my videos thinking that it does hold my brows and hairs in place but then I discovered a much better brow gel and I obviously didn't have anything good to compare to back then so I thought this was the bomb but it does nothing. It does nothing. Because I remember last year when I was working for Bobbi Brown I tried this, this literally did not do anything for my brows. At first it does but throughout the day they're just soft and they're just going all over the place so bin. I guess I might put some of that delete concealer on my lids. The colour's nice though, but the formula isn't that great. To be honest, it's drier than usual right now because I've obviously had it for the longest time. But it should have been dry before. So it probably might work good now, but it's probably off as well. Imagine if products said when you bought them, they literally say, keep aside for a year and then use them once they're dry. No. Right, this is embarrassment as well. This is by Makeup Revolution. 
to use one of their old palettes it's the redemption palette acid bright and i did do a really cool look with this but then i just discovered the morphe colorful palette and then there's that james charles palette that's really good i mean this is so much more affordable but i think makeup revolution came out with other palettes with bright colors like this it's really chalky it's looking like guys i mean there's pigments here but it's just not for me okay it, i don't like it i don't like the formula much even though i was able to do a nice look with it but i've just discovered better you know colorful palettes you know don't even know what i'm doing right now it's just cling to the concealer when it's that isn't a bad blue I don't use it I don't wear colors like this and I don't even think they still sell this to be honest but I just think I don't like this because I know there's better palettes out there I mean it's not bad but it's just it's just not cut doing it for me it's just not doing it for me so the eyeliner I'm going to be using is the Super Cat Liquid Black Eyeliner Pen by Soap and Glory. I just don't, I in general I don't like pen eyeliners and a lot of people probably like this but it's not even black, what on earth? It's like grey. Yeah, I just don't like this. It's not black enough. I definitely prefer more liquid eyeliners. Look, it's already like fading. I think that was a problem as well. Like this does not last long on the eyes, this palette. Right, let's just go on to mascara now. This, I might as well try and curl them actually. I always curl my lashes, so it's only fair that I do this. Okay, I'm gonna use this Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. I got this in a free, I got this with a purchase, like it came free. And it just does nothing for my lashes. Like there's only a little bit of product that goes on this, on my lashes and this, feels like it's it feels oily so i feel like it weighs my eyebrow my eye my eyelashes down it's like my, my lashes are like no we are not clinging to this brush all right let's just go on to foundation now shall we i'm gonna be using the new look flawless foundation contour stick okay i don't know why i really like this foundation when i did the review on this I bet you a lot of money this is going to break me out because I've had this for the longest time. It's literally oily. Oh my god. It smells, it smells nice, it smells like sweets but it's pink, grey. And it was affordable, but they had four colours in this range, which is not acceptable. This is just going in the bin. It's oily. I actually wore this out. Look how greasy that is. So greasy. The tone is awful. It probably doesn't even look like it on camera, but trust me, guys. Trust me. <sighs> it actually has a weird after smell. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Tan. Now this I've had for too long, it's just off. Although I did like it when I did use it. It's a nice concealer but it's just going in the bin. This doesn't feel right. <sighs> no. <laughs> that smells nasty. Oh my god. 
I need to get this off my face. I'm not putting it too close to my eyes. See, like, the coverage is not that bad. It's a very dewy concealer as well, to be honest. Okay, I'm also going to be putting this to set my under eyes. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've just had this for too long, even though sometimes I did like it, you know? I, I swore by this powder, but now I don't. <laughs> I'm going to be using this Sephora Blush Me, which was probably bought 20 years ago. This was my mom's. I don't even know when this was bought. I don't even know if this exists. I used to love this. This was a nice product, but it's just too old. More of a blush, but I'm using it as a bronzer, okay? Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm using is the Master Chrome Highlight by Maybelline. And everyone was raving about this, but I really don't like it. Now, this is in Molten Gold. It's just so, like... Look at that. That doesn't look right to me. It looks very, like, powdery. It probably looks right nice. No, trust me guys, I just don't like this highlight. I, I've tried so many, I know when one is not good. And I've actually heard other people say they don't like this. Like, it's so not nice. Like, it's like, you can see it's there. Like, it just picks up on every little bump. It's just so powdery and it's just not for me. I don't like it. And trust me, I do love a lot of stuff on Maybelline, but that product is, so, is such a flop for me. This was sent to me by Classy Lashes. Now they are a smaller brand and I love their lashes. I absolutely love their lashes and I always support them. But this formula this formula was a no-no for me. Like they sent me a few colours and I did literally use this once and I don't even know how. Why? <laughs> but it's a very cracky formula, very drying. Am I blinding you all? Am I blinding you all? <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually not bad, mad at the eyebrow pencil now when I look at my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's blinding me. I can't even look in the mirror. <laughs> Alright guys, this is, the, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick fun video. I mean, genuinely, these are all going in a bit. I'm not even going to give it to anyone else. I think most of them are off. Some of them I'm just like, why did I even like it in the first place? Really? No, but just look at this lipstick. And can you really see how grey that foundation is? Very grey. Alright guys, I'm going to head off. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you're new. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.